Hey guys, welcome back to my wonderful channel. It's your girl Joy, aka Miss Jovu. If you're new to my channel, you're welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back to another video. So, guys, today's video, according to the title, I'm going to be answering Jericho questions. So, this is part six of my Jericho Q and A session from the comments. So, if you have any more questions concerning Jericho, because I get questions from you guys on my Jericho videos on what is this, how does this, and stuff like that. So if you have any more questions, drop it down in the comment section. Participate in my community tab. If I ask you guys what you guys like to see next, please be sure to like participate. We need to like connect together, okay? If you haven't seen part one, part two, part three, part four, part five, then be sure to check it out in the playlist. It's going to be in the iCards and it's also going to be in my description. Be sure to check the video out. I answered questions there. So just go watch it probably answers if you have questions in your mind or things that are bothering you concerning Jerry Koi probably those videos are going to help you I'm not a professional I'm not an expert but this I just answer your question based on my own experience and I just share it with you so nobody don't come and hold me don't take my words for it I'm not a hair professional I'm just answering guys based on my own experience with my hair so yeah Please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, share to your family and friends, drop a comment down and subscribe, turn your post notification on so you won't miss any of my videos. No further ado, let's get right into the video. So guys, in this video, I'm going to be answering 10 Jericho questions from the comments. As usual, we're always doing 10 10. So let's start with the questions are written in my notebook and I'm also going to put a screenshot of it on the screen. Okay, so the first one is, wow, this is long. Hi, it's my first time watching your videos. Okay, I'm considering Jericoy for my hair, but I like to look different. I mean, I don't like sticking to a particular hairstyle. So, can I make braids when I Jericoy my hair, and how long can braids last? It is possible. Wow. Yeah, you can make braids once you get a Jericoy done. Like for me, when I got my Jericoy done for the very first time, I stayed for like a month and some weeks before I decided to get my hair done and that was my butterfly look since then i carried that hair for like three weeks or almost a month then i got it off and since then i haven't like got my hair done so if you have a jerry and you want to braid your hair you just got it done like in just a week come on come on what are you in a hurry for relax work your jerry first for at least a month or probably two to three weeks before you decide to jerk your hair. I don't know, that's my own opinion on it. But if you want to, maybe after you get your jerk hair done, maybe three, uh, two days after or three days after, like you now go and braid your hair. Uh, you just made your hair. And now you're making another hair. In the next two days, come on, just relax. Just relax. Rock your hair first. Rock your jerk hair. This is a very nice look. You can now decide to braid your hair after a month or after three weeks or two months later it all depends on you but for me since then i haven't got my hair done i rock my natural hair i rock my jerkoi and it looks so good so sweetheart relax and yeah you can get your hair done if you want once you have a jerkoi you can actually braid your hair and it can last for as long as you want because after you lose your hair you have very good coil activator immediately after that you you wash your hair and you apply your coil activator your coils will pop your coils will come back. If you haven't seen the video, me getting my butterfly locks up and how I got my coils back immediately after that because I wasn't with my coil activator, so I decided to buy one from the salon there and they applied it and my coils came back. It was as if I just did my hair, my jerk coil again. Yeah, you can get your hair done. Another question, my hair is shoulder length. Do you think it's safe to jerk coil? Okay, for me, my opinion, the length of your hair that's where the beauty lies. Like you have natural hair and you've got your hair jerkoy and it's shoulder length. If you now jerkoy it, it becomes longer than that. People will even be asking you if it's weak, if your hair is a weak or something. Like when I was keeping my afro, many persons were asking me, is this a wig? I love your wig. And I was like, it's not a wig, it's my hair. I was like, are you serious? How did you do it? Like, it's so nice, it looks good. I thought it was a wig. I thought it was a wig, blah, 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 blah. So, people actually think they're putting on wig. The beauty of Jericho actually lies in the length of your hair. When your hair is long and it's coily and yummy, it looks so good. Yeah. Beauty lies in the length of your hair. So, whatever length of hair, it looks good. There's nothing wrong with it, okay? 
Next question, I did a record yesterday using series at Vito and Hollywood Coil, but mine is not coily the way I want it. Please, what can I do? You got series at Vito gel, yeah, that's a coil at Vito. I've used series at Vito gel and it's good, so it coils very well. I've used it before. You guys, if you check my short videos, you see that I used series at Vito gel. So, I used Hollywood key. Probably the person didn't apply it well or the person didn't really do it well or you did it yourself. I advise you guys to please go to a professional. Go to someone who knows how to do Jericho very well, not just someone that says, oh, you want to do Jericho, okay, sit down, let me do the job because of the money or because you're going to pay them or whatever. Go to someone who is very, very good at it, okay? So for me, I use Jack 5 to define my coils, to maintain my hair. And all of that, so you can actually get coil activator. You can get jack five coil activator. Series activator gel is also good, so you actually have a good activator. So, yeah, you're good to go. Where can I get this kit at? If you mean the your coil coconut oil, you can get it at any shop, any saloon close by. That's if the person goes to market or if the person buys a lot, you can get go to a hair salon where. They distribute to other saloons i don't know how to put it but if you are based on on each other yeah you can get if you know someone who is in on each other who sells in on each other market you can tell the person to help you get the jokoi coconut oil if you are based in the us or wherever you are in the world you can order it on amazon or what others online shop just browse it i don't know if it's available on junior probably i'm going to check and if it is i'm going to put it on the screen so you guys can now make orders on junior there are also other instagram accounts shop online where they sell let's look like coconut oil probably i'm going to put links in the description so you guys can go make orders there okay i hope the question is going to be reduced on where you can get the kits okay yeah another one is hi i had my jerry coil last month at chuba you gave the address if you can remember i think i can I mentioned it in a video and I think I replied her in the comments before this one. So, but I need to reveal to get back my coils. Choba is quite far from me. Please help me with your lead stylist aside. Size, I need a better job when I could touch. Thanks. Your voice seems to be low. I literally use earpiece when watching your video. Get a good coil, coil activator. Echo style professional styling gel is not. A coil activator is a gel, just something you just apply, just want to style your hair. But if you want your coils to be defined, get a coil activator. You can use Jack 5, you can use Series Activator Gel, you can use a lock and twist gel together with Series Coil Activator Gel. So, those are coils activators that I have tried, that I've used, and they are good. They define your coils, they maintain your coils. My lady stylist is not based in Port Harcourt, she's based in my hometown. So I got my jerk coil for the second time when I traveled back home. And I was like, okay, I'm going to a professional. And my mom recommended me to her that she has been doing jerk coil since she knew the woman. And the jerk coil always lasts. So I thought, okay, fine, no problem. And I decided to go get my jerk coil by her. And she was like, she told me some things that some stylist won't even tell you she don't need echo styler it's not a quality activator it's, a, it's just a gel so i should get jack 5 and since i started using jack 5 my coils are just been there and my hair is just in month and one week and you guys can see the coils are still popping my hair is still slid unlike when i did the other one the first one i think my hair became more puff my hair was transitioning back to my virgin hair and stuff like that but the coils were still popping don't get me wrong because the still popping so she's not here don't reveal your hair immediately it's just a month wait for at least three months before you can retouch your hair again all right so get a coil activator a quality good quality original home i don't even know where you guys can actually get original coil activator but just get fireball sauce somewhere a big supermarket where they sell quality products so that's it okay and for my audio Sometimes, like right now, I believe you guys can hear me in this video because nobody is here. My ring light is giving me quality lighting and yeah, it's quiet so I believe you guys can hear me but I'm going to see what I can do about my audio. If you notice in my other videos, my hair styling video where I'm styling my hair, I didn't really voice over because where I was, I was in school so it was just noisy. Anytime I want to make a voice over, 
it doesn't really go well so i just had to just make it simple add some good music to it and do some typing on the screen and like stuff like that to communicate with you guys i'll try to get like all this mic or stuff all this stuff they put like speaker so that way you guys can hear me but i believe right now my voice is okay and i hope you can hear me i hope you're not using earpiece to watch this video but i hope you can hear me now it's not my fault i use my phone to record i hope you guys can hear me i'm shouting i'm raising my voice i'm raising my voice so yeah another question do you also pour water on your hair daily i mean like bathing with tea tanks yes i do sometimes when i'm in the mood i just spray water but i have to like spray water on my hair even if i don't spray water or pour water on my hair while beating i have a spray bottle so i'll just spray water on my hair before i apply my color activator so anyhow anyhow i can't escape it i must definitely put water or pour water on my hair before i apply my color activator so the best way is just to like pour water on your hair while you're taking your bath so that's very easy so that that way you won't spray water again another one a rollers a must yeah rollers are very important without rollers your curls will not be defined it will give you these curls because with rollers once you roll it and apply coil booster it boosts that's the chemical that boosts coil so if it's really you know when you are stretching your wig or you want to um, coil is straight a wig that is straight already you have to like roll it with your machine like the stuff that you use to coil it that's the way your natural hair is that's the way you have to do this so you need rollers without it without rollers you can't get the coil next one is your hair growing faster what about breakage thanks nice videos can't wait to see your journey yeah my hair is still growing and there's no breakage my hair is healthy i'm taking good care of it i can't wait to see my hair journey like everything is going fine i just hope i don't change my mind later on to have a big chop another one but uh, next question did you go under a blow dryer the second time i didn't go under a blow dryer but the first time when i first got my jerry coil i went under a blow dryer if you guys haven't seen the video my first jerry coil video first time getting a jerry coil the video link is going to be in my description so check it out if you haven't seen the part two it's also going to be in my description the first time I blow dry my hair the second time I didn't blow dry my hair so yeah this second time I didn't the first time I did did you go for bigger rod size than the last one I didn't go for a bigger rod size it's the same rod size or the same rollers size that I used the first time that's what I used the second time I feel like it's the way she cut the hair the way she patterns the hair like the cutting her cutting was big so that's why when I got my jerk for the second time you guys if you look at the thumbnail the coils look big but after some days because she told me not to style my hair immediately i should just leave it just apply my color to it and go wherever i'm going to but i decided to comb my hair with my comb you guys know the comb if you have been following me you know the comb i'm talking about so i went in with that comb and that was how the coils became this tiny well whatever rod size you use it doesn't really define like once you comb the hair the coils becomes tiny but if the rod you use is big and then you comb it it becomes more like it scatters so i hope you get what i'm trying to say so guys we'll come to the end of this video i hope this video is helpful to each and every one of you if it was be sure to give it a big thumbs up drop a comment down share to your family and friends and subscribe turn your post notification on so you won't miss any of my videos so if you haven't seen part one part two that's big part four part five this is part six stay tuned for part seven of this video i hope i answer your questions just check those videos out so you'll be updated you know what's up you know if you have any questions like watch those videos before you drop your own question you get watch those videos i hope this video is helpful to each and every one of you please make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoy this video if this video is helpful to you yeah, share to your family and friends share 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 and subscribe turn your post notification on so you won't miss any of my videos thanks so much for watching and i will definitely see you guys in my next video bye <music>